let the madness begin. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother is back for its summer version and oh my god, like this lineup is probably the wackiest lineup we think we've ever had. Like you, you just can't predict what's going to happen. In this video I'll be talking about the housemates that entered the Celebrity Big Brother house on Tuesday and there was 15 of them. Oh, and also I was making an early winner's prediction. Ah, like what, what? This is gonna be probably the hardest one yet, and I've only done I've only done two of these. This will be the second one, but this is gonna be the hardest yet. So uh, yay! So without further ado, let's start the video. First is Amelia Lilly. She's from the X Factor a few years ago, and she had a really good hit in the charts a few years ago as well. I think she's gonna be the housemate next door, the girl next door. She seems so genuine, probably the most genuine out of the whole lineup. She seems so laid back and so calm, not in a boring way, that I think she'll go really far in this series. You go from Calm Amelia to Brandy Glanville from the Beverly Hills Housewives show, Housewife thing. Oh no, just no. Ugh. She's not, she didn't have the best attitude in her VT and she seems like very confrontational. Now, the, the confrontation's good. We're not in a horrible, stupid, like, vulgar way. Like, there's some of the stuff she said, it's like, why? Like, why? You don't need to say the swear words and stuff. You swear an argument, you've already lost. You don't need to. If your point's that strong, you don't need to, like, throw in those stupid C words. But yeah. Will she go far? Probably not. Next is Chad Johnson. He's from The Bachelor and he seems okay. He seems very overconfident, but that could be a good thing. He seems like he could be a very good game player. He knows how to play people and he, he know, he'll know how to play this game, even though he's only watched a few clips. But he seems very clued up and very smart already. And there is no way he's 29. There's loads of people saying on Twitter, he's 29? What? No, he's actually 39, going on 40. It is, it's official. It, look, look it up, he's actually 39. I'm getting a name. I'm, I'm getting a name. It is Derek Acora. <laughs> He's a psychic medium and he's most famous for being on Most Haunted and he used to get possessed a lot. This show was real. He's, he's, he's a bit of a... Now, I, I kind of believe in all the psychic paranormal stuff, but he takes it to one level, like another level. It's just like getting possessed and apparently has a psychic friend called Sam. What am I doing? What, what am I talking about? But yeah, he has a psychic friend called Sam and well, yeah, I think he might be quiet at first and then might like trick all the housemates into like thinking that he knows more about them than he's letting on because of all the psychic spirits and everything. He's just going to be an interesting housemate. Next is Helen Lederer. She's a comedian and used to be on Absolutely Fabulous. Now, Helen used to go on a bit on the side, a bit brothers a bit on the side, um, just like chatting on the panel and everything. And she seemed very witty, very on point, very like, oh, I agree with her. I used to do that a lot with Helen. I just agreed with her a lot. So I can see her just throwing in the one-liners and being, again, very witty. I like those kind of housemates. Sometimes they don't really do much, but to throw out the one-liners. Well, that's kind of what Colleen did last January. She was kind of sitting down, laying low, but with the one-liners. So Helen could win. She could. Next is Gemma Lucy. She's a tattoo model, um, been on loads of reality shows, you know, all the trashy ones. Her VT didn't do her any favours. I think she could be a very down-to-earth girl if she wasn't like effing and jeffing and swearing and doing all the vulgar things, I think she could be really lovely. But will this effing and jeffing let her down? Maybe. But if she's more of a genuine down-to-earth self, 
she could go far. Next up is Jordan Davies. Is it Davies? Yes, it's Davies. And he's from um, Ibiza Weekender. Yeah, he cannot sit still. He's always doing this and that. Like, oh my God, like sit down, mate. Oh my God, like you seem like an okay guy, but sit the hell down. Oh, hopefully he calms down and could be an all right guy. But if he's not, I can see him getting evicted, not week one, but probably week two, week three-ish. He's just very bouncy. Next up is the Special K Karthik. Oh, oh, like he's a good pick. He wound up everybody on The Apprentice and he was the worst candidate on The Apprentice ever. Like I think that his team got like a hundred pounds in one task and like the opposing team got like 10,000. So he is bad at business, obviously, but he's got the personality of a great housemate. He is the housemate. Marissa Jade from Mob Wives is next. Again, very intimidating. She seems like an alright girl, but with all this intimidation and like, oh, if someone steps on my toes or something like that, it's just like, just stop, stop being so uh, all the time. Like, you seem an okay woman, girl. Woman? She's only th 32. She see, well, she's she seems like 21. Stop being so aggressive like verbally just calm down calm down Paul Danan is next he is the Love Island bad boy and the uh, actor from Hollyoaks and he said he's been doing a lot more acting but I don't remember what else he's been in he seems like an all right guy as well and he's an older he kind of reminds me of Bear but an older mature kind of Bear like Bear from last summer he was just a dick but he seems like a mature bear. So I'm filming this just after I've watched the highlight show and Paul Denham has just pressed the fire alarm. And what the hell? He thought it was the diary room button to go up to the step. He's such a noob. He's such an idiot. Now, was that genuine? I think it was, to be honest. He doesn't seem all together. But yeah, he, he's going to be one of those weird ones. Next is Sam from Made in Chelsea, and it's his birthday today. Well, officially yesterday, but today. He's very, he's one of the hyper ones as well. He just speaks look quick, quite quickly, and you're like, what the hell? What are you talking about? But, um, <laughs> well, speaking of quick talking, you'll find out what I mean in a few housemates' time. Like, quick talking, you've not seen anything yet. But anyway, back onto Sam. He just seems the budget of Jordan like he's less car he's more of a calm Jordan but he does I don't see any substance I kind of think he's the most boring at the moment Sam um I know we've only no it's only been a few days but Sam is not really doing it for me right now but hopefully changes my mind next is Sandy from Gogglebox I love Sandy she's so caring she's got the one-liners and she's just so lovely like She's, I, I want her to stay till the end. Hopefully she doesn't mess up and say something stupid and then the whole house hates her. But hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think she, that would happen, but I just love Sandy. She's just like, she, she'll rule that house. Like no one will step on her toes, because if that happens, she will destroy them. Let's face it, it's Sandy from Gogglebox. It's something kind of ew, jumping on my tutu. It's Sarah Hardoing. It's something kind of, ooh, it's Sarah Harding. And wow, like, wow. I, d I wouldn't expect Sarah Harding to be in the Celebrity Big Brother house. Now, if you know who Sarah Harding is, obviously she was on the, she was in the girl brand, uh, Girls Aloud. And she seems so lovely as well. Like, I know, like, <laughs> I know, like, some lovely housemates can be a little bit, ugh. But she seems like so down to earth as well. I love, I love Sarah Harding in Girls Aloud. Is Girls Aloud broken up now? Yes, they have broken up. But yes, she'll have a lot of stories to tell, I'm sure. And I like housemates when they have a lot of stories to tell. Some a bit taboo stories, like ooh. But yeah, I love those kind of stories. So I think Sarah, Sarah will be a good housemate. Here comes the most nervous housemate ever. Sean Williamson. Now, Sean was on EastEnders as Barry and he didn't do very well in his secret task, did he? Oh, ouch. No wonder he failed. Like, it's it was simple things and he just 
Now he said he couldn't listen, he couldn't hear Big Brother in his earpiece, but nah. He, he was thinking, he was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't do it, and then, yeah, he, he, he was rubbish. <laughs> he seems kind of a strong housemate walking up to Emma um, during his interview before going in the house, but I think he'll melt, I think he'll crumble. I just don't think he'll hack this show. I really don't. I think he could, out of all the housemates, he could be one person who could potentially leave without getting evicted, he could just leave. Um, same with Derek, maybe, but Sean feels like the one that could leave the most. I just don't think he'll hack it. I think he'll be like, this is not for me, I'm going. I, I'm just a bit worried. Hopefully not, like seriously, like he'll, he'll be a lovely guy, but... Oh, yeah. And finally, if you're quite uh, a regular on YouTube, you'll know who this next lady, or lady, girl is. It's Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Trisha is a YouTuber on YouTube, you know, the thing you're watching right now. And basically, she has over a billion views. So she's not shy. She's not gonna be shy in that house at all. Um, that dress, like, oh my God, what was that? But that's what you would expect from Trisha. I mean, it's pink, it's fluffy, it's out there. Um, she's just gonna be amazing. Like day one, it was pro pretty much mostly about Trisha. So, and that's what she likes. She likes the limelight. She likes the attention, but seriously, she's gonna be probably one of the best housemates in that house this year so I just cannot wait like people some people are like who is she who is she if you don't watch YouTube that regularly you won't know who she is I just love Trisha now there's some things I don't agree with um what Trisha says in her videos but she's in the house I'm just gonna forget all about that kind of thing like the wrestler thing uh, like she doesn't like wrestling and everything that hurt me right there hurt me I'm a massive wrestling fan so it hurt me right there but I'm gonna just forget about that I'm just gonna focus what she does in the house now it's the time I've been dreading all video picking a celebrity housemate who I think will win there could be new housemates um, during the series it might happen sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does but if it does happen and they win, then obviously my choice will not be in this. Like, I cannot predict a person that's not there yet. So, it'll be the runner-up. I've got about three names in my head. I'm not going to tell you. You'll find out who I picked in three, four weeks' time um, when I do my winners, early winners prediction video and um, kind of series recap. But, oh, I... Oh. I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick. Oh, if you're watching my civilian Big Brother um, videos, um, you'll remember that I put them in a box, and this was the box. But because it was celebrity, I kind of got. A, I bought a gold lid. I don't. Know, it's just a simple thing. I know it's stupid, but yeah, I bought a gold lid. So yeah, it's all celebrity fied now. Maybe I should put some stars on it. This will be different. I, I swear, this will be different when when you see it in a few weeks' time. It'll be all celebrity fied. Who do I pick? Guys, who do I pick? Just just close your eyes, send in your thoughts. Okay, right, I've just had a, I've just had something I've just had a feeling. So I sound like Derek Cora now. But I've just had a feeling and I'm just going to write that person's name. Uh now you can see me looking over. I, I I'm just thinking now, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick that person. And no, it is not Derek Cora's uh psychic friend sam is not it's not it's not psychic sam okay i picked i picked oh my god right now i'm going to put this this name that i put down right now into this box and like i said i will not open it until the winner prediction early winner prediction video so just to recap um the person that i wrote down um, if they don't win and the new housemate that we've not seen yet wins then whoever came second runner up um, and I wrote this person down and they come second, then I win, <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah, it's because Raph came um, second um, in Sylvillian Big Brother that's just happened um, and uh, a new housemate won. So I technically won. So, um, yeah, all the technicalities, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put this person 
person's name into the box now and you will not see this until my winner's prediction video. I'm so scared I probably uh, got this wrong but I don't care. <laughs> comment down below who you think will win. I know it's only day one, day two but comment down below who you think will win. There's going to be, I can, I can see now there's going to be a lot of Trishas. <laughs> but yeah, since it's YouTube, but it's going to be a lot of Trishas. So the name is in the box. So this is the box. Say goodbye to the box. Bye box. Just a little bit of an update. Um, if you head over to the Byte website in a few days, Sukvinda from the civilian series that's just happened is doing articles. So head over to the website in a few days and um, check that out because I love Sukvinda. Um, the links to the website will be down below in the description. Um, thank you all for watching. Please like down below if you enjoyed this video. Please comment on who you think will win, who will be rubbish and who will be evicted first. All the CBB chat remember to use the hashtag CBB on Twitter. It's not CBB UK, it's CBB. There's not much of a difference, but it's the official hashtag. More people will search that than CBB UK. So CBB. <laughs> and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of CBB videos. Um, if you're quite new to uh, this kind of format on YouTube, then basically um, I'm just going to be doing um, eviction prediction videos, so like a few days before the eviction or a day before the eviction I'll be doing um, eviction prediction videos and I'll be predicting who I think will be evicted. That's a lot of victim predicting, blah, blah, blah. but yes I'll be doing those sort of videos so subscribe down below and you'll be up to date on when you find out when these videos will be out. Or if you haven't hit the big red button there'll be a thing to click 20 seconds before this video ends to click my face and it'll say do you want to subscribe and you just click yes so thank you all for watching this series is going to be amazing and i will talk to you guys in the next video goodbye